Hi Aries, welcome back to my channel, Karma Fox. I am doing your weekly reading for the 5th through the 11th of November, 2023. I do hope everybody's doing well. I wanna take a second to remind you that this is a general reading. It may not resonate with every Aries out there. So do take what resonates for you, leave the rest for someone else. You could also check your other signs and placements. See if those readings resonate better if this one's not resonating. Um, keep in mind the energies can reverse or flip-flop. And as always, Aries, please don't try to force yourself into a reading that just simply is not for you. Spirit, can I have the energy of the sign of Aries? Aries. All right. Your energy is popping. Let's see what we've got. All right. You're starting out with the Magician in reverse. You have the Ten of Swords, and coming out together, we have the Page of Swords reversed along with Justice in reverse. So, Aries, I'm seeing a very painful ending here. Um, I do feel like there was something that you were trying to manifest. It looked ideal for you, but for some reason, it just did not manifest. Um, I do feel like for some reason, this is with someone from your past or even possibly a soulmate but it just is not manifesting the way you want it to. And I feel like there's a sense of, um, with this ending, that there's a sense of injustice, that something, you know, was done in a very unbalanced or unjust way. And, you know, there could have been lies involved with it, or somebody could have omitted the truth. Um, maybe they told you only a partial truth, or they it could have just been things that were unsaid but it's really rubbed you the wrong way. It's caused this ending. And I am seeing that um, you you kind of don't know how to go about getting justice in this situation as well. I'm hearing that there's something to do with the details, that you're, you've, you're missing a detail or some details. So let's see who's in your energy. Show me who's in Aries energy. All right, so the person in your energy, we have the Ten of Cups. We have the Nine of Cups in the reverse and the Empress in reverse. All right, so the person in your energy is viewing you, Aries, as being um, their happiness. So this is somebody who generally is very happy. I do feel like they've gone through a... a, a situation that caused them a lot of concern, um, a lot of worry, and they're kind of, they, they don't want to be bothered with that energy anymore. There's something that they were so upset and worried about, they were losing sleep about. Um, things didn't go the way this person thought they were going to with regard to love. There's something, um, I, I feel like it's this ending. I feel like this person feels a, a deep and profound sense of loss with you, and it, this is, it, it's going directly back to you and back to this ending. They didn't want this ending either for some, there's, I'm not saying for some reason, but there's, there's, uh, there's some reason this person, um, just like you, it didn't manifest the way you thought it would. And in their energy, this is not the way they wanted things to go. They are feeling a great sense of loss here. And they're viewing you as being their happiness. So let's see the energy between the two of you. Because it looks like there's two people unhappy with how things are going. Now this could be somebody new in your energy, Aries, that um, has experienced a loss as well. I will tell you that this person is doubting themselves right now. It's almost like they're kind of spiritually or, or um, emotionally maybe is the better word. They're emotionally lost right now. Um, the energy between the two of you is one of both parties having gone through a lot of sadness. There's some regrets um, that I'm seeing here and on one or both sides. And I'm also seeing that you both are desiring love. You're, you're kind of coming out of this energy, but it's still in, it's still a little bit holding on to your energy and it's still holding on to their energy a little bit. But between the two of you, there is a hope for love here. So let's see. This could be somebody entirely different. Um, or it could be somebody from your past. So just take it as it resonates. If this is someone from the past, you both are kind of 
you know, having learned from the past and you're refocusing towards love. Um, and if this is somebody new, it's the same thing, but it was, uh, the losses were not with each other. The losses were with someone else. For a lot of you, I feel like this is a new person and you, you have some common experiences with regard to loss. Now, what's affecting the, the connection? Well, you're fixing to have a very sudden shift here. It's going to be a very sudden shift out of this energy where you're feeling this loss and this betrayal and this pain. I'm seeing a sudden shift in your energy that's going to affect the connection with this person. Um, they are still pretty, I mean, they're looking at you as being, the, you know, very, uh, a, a person they could be very happy with. There's a sense of contentedness and, and like overwhelming happiness when they think about you. However, they are still pretty deeply entrenched in a connection that failed. So, like I said, for most of you, I do feel that this is a connection. Um, this could even be a friend. And you're now beginning to view this person in a different light. But there's going to be a sudden shift. And I feel like, Aries, you're bringing that shift in with this Eight of Wands. It's likely going to be either um, through communication or it could be you, you meet this person during travel. Sometimes Eight of Wands can indicate travel. But I feel like you are the key to this shift here. So let's look at your outcome. I'm seeing two timelines. I'm seeing a timeline where this is somebody from the past. That's not for most of you, though. Um, and I'm seeing for most of you, this is a different person. This is a new person. Seven of Wands along with the Page of Pentacles. Okay, so in your outcome, what I'm seeing, Aries, is that you're going to be standing your ground here with regard to an injustice. I do see communication coming through from this person, and it may be coming through um, text. It could be text. It could also be a very small offer that comes through from this person, but I feel, I feel a drawing closer of you in this person. But I also see you being a little bit defensive. And part of the defensiveness is because there's a sense that this person may be withholding energy. Um, or they may may only be offering you a very small amount. And it's, it's bringing up this injustice from the past. Okay? Now, at the bottom of the deck, we have the Nine of Pentacles in the reverse. This is underlying energy and it does speak to loss. And like I said, I feel that loss on both sides. For most of you, this is a, a new person, I feel, because that is the strongest timeline that I'm seeing. And I do see that you've both experienced a loss. It's caused some doubts. It's caused um, some, some brought up issues of self-esteem for both of you. But I feel like uh, this connection is going to change suddenly and it's going to be because of something that you either say or you could meet this person in travel even. So let's let's clarify. This is very intriguing. Why is the magician here in reverse? The emperor and the page of swords. Okay. Yeah, you, this person could actually be a a soul connection for you. So there's something here that didn't manifest, and I do feel that you've been searching for the reasons why. What can you do to create the manifestations that you're trying to bring about in your love, uh, love life, or in life in general? There's a sense of dissatisfaction in your energy, Aries, and so you're looking, you're searching, you're trying to figure this out, and I do feel like you have taken your power back. Um, I... There was a bad situation. That something ended badly. You're taking your power back, and you are definitely seated in your power. You could be dealing with another Aries, 
Again, I'm seeing you are going to be the one who is communicating. It could be something very small, but it's more of this energy that I'm seeing in you of how do I reclaim my power? How do I proactively create what it is that I'm wanting? Because, you know, you've gone without having what it is that you're trying to create here for a while. And, you know, I always hate to hear the, the term that somebody's thirsty because, you know, you wouldn't take a person who has been out in the desert and had no water, and then all of a sudden you're going to you're gonna criticize them because they are thirsty, they want to drink, they want to replenish themselves from what they've been denied. You wouldn't do that, but yet we do that to each other in our love lives, and it's really unfair. So I have this sense that there was something you were trying to create. It ended badly. It didn't go the way you would want it or, or thought. And you've been searching in how to, how to do that, how to take your power back in that situation. And I feel like you're finding it here. All right, so we have the Ten of Wands reversed and the Four of Wands. Beautiful, beautiful. So yeah, you're, you're now solving all these problems. You're taking your power back. And you're solving the problems that, that led up to this painful ending, this feeling of betrayal. And I see that this, this communication or travel is going to be what resolves these problems completely for you. And that it could even lead to marriage or commitment. So let's see. Now, I wouldn't think that you're going to meet somebody and all of a sudden you're getting married. But I am seeing that it could it's moving in the direction of... A higher level of commitment which is nice all right five of wands reversed ace of cups reversed and the hangman in reverse beautiful so again I'm seeing the ending here in a love connection something ended here and it ended in a very unjust way and it probably just left your head spinning that conflict is ending that's you're you're ending any of that conflict internally as well as externally and now you're looking at this from a very different perspective. So here you have the page of swords in the reverse. Here it's in the upright. It's a reversal of the situation. It's a reversal of this um this injustice basically. And I I feel like for a lot of you you didn't understand why this connection ended, why things were not manifesting why everything was going in such a very painful direction. And now, by the end of the week, I see you really looking back. I see you looking at this very differently. I see you actually understanding that this ending was actually the ending of the conflicts for you. So you're going to be looking at this ending extremely differently. You're going to gain some understanding as to why things went in the direction that it did. It's going to end that internal conflict. And you're not even going to have the external conflict any longer because there's going to be a communication here that is going to be a game changer. And I feel like you're, you're taking your power back, Aries. You're the one bringing in these changes. So I love this energy for you. I think it's really good. It's very productive. Let's look at this other person now. Um, this could be somebody that is uh, has been a friend of yours, and maybe the relationship is deepening. All right, we have the King of Cups, and here we have the Eight of Wands in the reverse. This person was felt like their happiness was blocked. I do feel that this person has emotions for you. You could be dealing with a water sign, which would be a... Pisces, Scorpio, or a Cancer, but you don't have to be. They could have it in their chart somewhere. But I'm feeling like this person has felt very blocked. They feel like their happiness has been blocked, but they do have feelings for you, genuine feelings. And I also feel that this person has been has been looking at you. They've been eyeing you. They've been watching you. And they feel that they could be very happy with you. So let's see. I don't feel like this person has expressed any of that. All right, we have the Eight of Cups and we have the Tower in reverse. They're walking away from a situation that was a tower moment. You both are. You're both resolving those issues. So this person is walking away from a very unsuccessful um, situation where things didn't go the way they wanted, the way they thought they would, 
This caused a tower moment for them. They're still somewhat in that tower moment, but they're walking away from that. They're walking away literally from anything that does not bring them success. And they are looking at you um, as having gone through a similar experience and also in a very loving way. Let's see why the Empress is in reverse. Some of you dealt with somebody that may have, and could have been both of you even, dealt with somebody that you may have thought was a, a twin flame and it turned out that they were not. Um, they could have been a false twin flame. For some of you, this you could be actually meeting your, your twin flame. Um, if you are... If this is a, a twin flame connection or a deep soul connection that's coming together, because we do have both the emperor and the empress here, I do feel that in that situation, this person, uh, the masculine energy, and I feel like you would be the masculine energy, whether you're male or female, I feel like you have more awareness of the situation than they do. They may, may not be completely aware of the situation. You've both gone through something pretty traumatic in your love life. Now, I do feel that the person in your energy here, um, they do have a little bit of a poverty mindset. So be aware of that. It's because of the losses that they have gone through. This person has not been taking action as far as moving forward to speak to you, but they are going to. Um, they're a little bit inconsistent in their energy, and it's because of the losses that they've occurred that have occurred in their love life in the past. Um, and so this person, um, they may have dealt with somebody that was a bit manipulative. Queen of Wands in the reverse can be manipulative, but it doesn't feel like it's their energy. Um, it feels like somebody that they may have dealt with. They would have blocked this person at this point, and this is the person they went through the tower moment with. Um, I am seeing that there is going to be communication between the two of you, and it's ultimately going to lead this person to offering something in your direction. So this is somebody who's been unhappy for quite some time, and I do feel like they have feelings for you. Let's look at the connection. Um, I'm, I'm hearing this song, um, Looking for Love in All the Wrong Places. It's a very old song. All right, we have the lovers in reverse and the five of cups. So meeting you or this connection with you is a reversal for them as well. You're experiencing a reversal in understanding. They're experiencing a reversal emotionally. Um, they have gone through a lot of sadness, but this is somebody who has been really looking back at the past and they're looking at their love life. They're trying to understand why the blockages are here and they're looking at you as being somebody that they could be happy with. You've sparked a renewal in their interest in love. Um, for you, I am seeing that you could be hesitant to make this decision with this person. Um, you may have some fear that this is not going to manifest because of past experiences that you've gone through. Uh, and honestly, I feel like this is a friend. This is somebody that is a friend. You're not sure if this person is compatible with you with regard to love. So you're unsure. I would say give this person a chance. I, I feel like you're you're looking at them. You're curious but you may feel that they're not in a position to engage in a connection with you, or you may feel that you're not, but you're both kind of eyeing each other. You're trying to figure this person out. Now let's look at what's affecting this connection. So there's interest here, but I feel like um, one or both of you may feel that you're, you're better off friends. All right, we have the two of wands reversed. We have the five of pentacles. And we have the page of cups in the reverse. So the past is definitely affecting this connection, okay? I do feel that um, with the two of wands in the reverse, you both have this sense of having not being, cho not being chosen, having... Um, and there could have even been talk between the two of you. Like I said, I feel like you might be telling this person, look, 
I think we are better off just friends. That's what I'm seeing here. I see you kind of um, leaving this person out in the cold. And part of it is due to trauma from the past in another relationship. Um, I am seeing that for some of you, uh, you ended a relationship where this, where the other person was married. Somebody was married and you, you simply don't want to deal with those problems any longer. Now, I'm not seeing this person that's in your energy being married. So I do feel that's past energy. But I feel like you're not choosing to move in the direction with this person. I feel like you're going to tell them that. And I feel like that's your choice. This is somebody you have a, a friendship with, though. And they've watched you go through this, this, you know, breakup. They've gone through a breakup. I feel like you're turning this person down. And it's going to cause them to, to have like another mini tower moment because they feel rejected. They do feel rejected by you. Um, let's look at your outcome. You may be telling this person, hey, you know, I think we're better off as friends. I don't want to ruin our friendship. There, I'm getting that sense that you are afraid. Hang on, I got to get your card. Fill in the floor. That you're afraid that becoming em emotionally involved or romantically involved with this person is going to ruin the friendship. All right, so we have, again, the Page of Pentacles. Now, it's doubled on that side, and we have the Knight of Swords. There's going to be a discussion about this. We have the Strength card, and we have the Eight of Swords. So, <laughs> Aries, you're going to turn this person down. You're going to opt to remain friends. There is a gen There's genuine emotions here. I see a discussion about this, and I see you being kind of brutally honest. However... That being said, this person, the more you've turned them down, that's all they can think about now is what you've said, it, you know, making this offer, having some a beginning, moving forward. So they're actually going to come in with more fire than, than before because now it's all they can think about and all they want to do is talk to you. Um, they are going to go from a lack of action to, you know, moving forward. You may even have some words with this person. Um, be careful that you're not harsh when you speak to this person, but all they can think about is, you know, a, a beginning with you. Now, on your side, like I said, um, I am seeing that you are trying to avoid conflict, but you're beginning to think of this a little bit differently as well. However, I see you kind of standing your ground. You have this conversation. For some of you, it be careful how you how you word things because you could come across as being a little bit harsh. But I am seeing you're standing your ground. You're working on yourself right now. You're trying to get yourself um, really solid. And I feel like you're not accepting the offer that this person is putting into place. But they're not withdrawing the offer. They're not withdrawing the offer at all. And I am seeing that you, as you get stronger for yourself, your feelings for this person deepens. And I also see that uh, you you will be looking at them differently. Right now, you're still resolving issues from your past. They are too, but they're focused on you. They're focused really on you. And the more you kind of put that halt to it, the more they want to come in. So the offer's not being withdrawn yeah, it's not being withdrawn at all, but there's a lot of pain underneath all of this. There's and and on each side, but not with each other per se. At least for most of you. Now, for some of you, this is a past person. Um, it, particularly if there's a twin flame here, um, you're recognizing that that this person is not in their highest energy. So you may be you may be kind of digging in your heels and sacrificing that time with them in order to kind of force them to, you know, increase their energy, increase um, what it is that they're offering you. 
And it's not that you don't care about them, but you recognize that they are just not in the highest energy and you're not going to accept less. So I do see that for those of you, particularly if this is a twin flame that you're dealing with. But you're definitely in your power either way. So, yeah. All right, bottom of the deck. Okay, we got the Three of Swords. All right, so underlying all of this is a broken heart on each side. So I do, and, and a deep sense of loss on each side. So I do feel that given time, you know, things could change between the two of you. I will tell you this, Aries, this person's not giving up. They're still trying to figure out how to make this happen. I do see a lot of communication going back and forth, whereas before this person was not taking action towards you. Now, they're obsessed with you, but not in a weird or, you know, negative kind of way. They just want, they want to talk. They want to talk and they want to move things forward, even if it's just a small amount. So, you're the one putting on the brakes here. All right, so let's see. Now, you could, the energy could be reversed. And if it is, you know, put yourself where you belong in this story. Let's see what we've got. All right, we have X, breakup or separation, stopping patterns, and sense of abandonment. Yeah, that's for both of you. And look at this, engagement ring. So it doesn't mean you're going to get engaged. It just means it's that higher level of commitment that has the potential here. So you've both gone through a separation, a breakup, and this is giving you the opportunity for partnership or commitment, okay? So, I guess that's uh, a decision you have to make, Aries, and you will feel your way through it as you, you know, each person's going to be different, and you're going to have to make those decisions, but you are coming from a very empowered standpoint after having gone through a really difficult emotional breakup. All right. I hope this has been helpful for you, Aries. If you have resonated with this reading, please hit that like button. And if you haven't already subscribed, I would be ever so grateful if you would. Until I see you guys in your next weekly reading, namaste.